Hello everyone. So I've got a little job here which I did yesterday. Uh, it's just a little porch. Let me just show you. Uh, just a little canopy porch um, over a front door entrance way and a bay window there. So we had a bit of fun yesterday because the wall was in and out a little bit, but we put our plates on, got this end wall nice and straight. Now, unfortunately, the customers have kind of changed their mind, which is their prerogative, which is absolutely fine. And what they actually want here is they want it now a little hipped end on here. It's one of those things that happens, you know, sometimes you have to alter um, things. Um, not the end of the world, really. It's not going to be uh, take too long. So what I think I'm going to do is just sort of set the camera up and show me how I've got to unpick uh, this rafter here, unpick that rafter there, but pretty much everything's here we need except for the hip. So once I unpick uh, this rafter here, I can then just put it on the plate from that point up. It gives me a mark to cut this uh, top plate here uh, and then I can fix it all back in and strike my plate, uh, strike my hips. So let's go on with that, we'll see how, it get, we'll see how we get on. The scaffold's a freestanding scaffold, I'm going to put the tripod on, it may be a bit wobbly, so let's keep our fingers crossed and hope for the best. Oh, got the big breaker bar uh, on the job, that'll get him off. try and get these rafters off without splitting them up too much then obviously can we, use, we can reuse them. bar with a tube welded on the end of it. get into the habit of taking my nails out because there's nothing worse than leaving nails stuck out of bits of wood on site even if you don't need them because you know someone could tread on them it's just a habit I get into right so because we've kind of done all the work with these back plates and they're all in the same level as the front plate because we use six for two all round 
what I can now do is just simply put my raft on the end and where it hits that top wall plate will be the point at where the hips will strike. Super easy stuff. Look at that. Lovely. Now I need to cut that off. I set the circular saw to not quite the full depth of that plate, so I'll cut most of it off with this and then finish the rest of it off with a handsaw. Oh, I haven't got my ear defenders on. That's where my ears hurt. Got to get those. Do any more? Right, let's have this off. Squeeze that off. There we go. Beautiful. I need to be careful up here today because it's uh, a bit icy, so I need to watch what we're doing. Minute. Frost this morning. Uh, right, screwdriver for that bolt there. To hold up here because I've got to alter the thickness of that rafter. So actually, um, I've got to hold my horse a little bit because basically the, the width of this plate on the top is uh, narrower than the width of this rafter, so I won't get my true center point. As you can just see, look, it's, it's sticking over. So what I'm going to have to do is either find a bit of material like this and quickly copy this rafter as a pattern onto it, or just rip this down a bit. So I'll do that because otherwise the corner point of the hip technically look uh, the corner point of the hips not quite right so that these two should meet uh, in this corner here so quickly do that and then uh, we can get those fixed and it's just a case of cutting the hip in right happy days we had a bit of this uh, 35 by 97 on site so I've just cut another rafter straight out of that so just get that cracked on uh, Fantastic. Just gonna uh, tack it up at the minute. Uh, get oh, that was a little bit too long, I think. We're going to get the true uh, square point. There. I just need to level down and get that measurement back. I need to get the measurement from here to the end of the plate. 
and just going to plumb down and then bring that through to the plate here. And then that rafter will be exactly square. I don't know if you can hear me with the road noise. Just tack it up by hand to start with, and then I'll get the nail gun out and nail it up solid. Excellent. So, as you can see now, we've got a common rafter here, a common rafter there, and they meet nicely in the middle. We've got exactly our square point. Uh, where the hip will strike from the top here. And now we do is we just knock that corn off there and we can uh, set out, uh, mark up and set out that hip, cut that and drop that in. Right, so I've marked this uh, 45 degree angle on here and the thickness of the hip, which is 35 mil in this case. I'm just gonna cut that off square so we end up with a square cut in the plum cut of the bird's mouth. Um, not gonna go into too much detail here. If you want to see how to do, how to cut in hips like this. You can check out a video I've done here. I've done quite a few now on how to cut in hips. So I'll just run this down with the saw. It doesn't need to go too far because I'm only using a, uh, like a 100 mil wide hip because it's got no jacks going onto it so it doesn't need to be bigger than the rafter material. Excellent. Uh, now I could pretty much get some uh, measurements for this hip and put those cuts on there and drop that hip in. Go and see if it fits. Right, let's see if it fits.
So that's all nailed in a treat. I'm happy with that. All I've got to do now is just uh, bring this line through and cut that hip, uh, the end off that hip, so that takes the face. You've got a, quite a substantial fascia carrier coming through here, so I don't really uh, think I need any jacks in there. So, yeah, pretty happy with that. Um, as I said, I've got a big shadow there now, but as I've said, not particularly a big job, it's only probably been about half an hour and I've chatted to the camera a bit, but just altered that from a gable end to a hip end. So, <coughs> uh, super simple stuff. As I said, just got to uh, cut the end of that hip rafter off now so the fascia returns round and uh, do the same on the other end now. Right, we're going to cut this in by magic. There, magic, done. So, there you go, I know I'm in my shadow now, so, you know, really happy with that. Got some nice little uh, joints up there on the hip. Get, I, I can't even see what I'm looking at here, so sorry, I'm in my own shadow. The sun's come out, which is awesome. Uh, yeah, so just give you an idea there that, you know, sometimes people change their mind. Personally, I actually think that it's probably better having a nice couple of uh, hips on the end of this little port. It's going to soften it up nicely, gives the guttering somewhere to return, the downpipe can go down the wall. So probably the whole thing maybe took me just an hour and a half. It's one of those things, no, nobody likes to go backwards or undo their work, but sometimes um, there's a time that you can alter things, and if you don't, that time can pass. And you know, once the roofers start putting battens on and there's monocouche and everything, you can't change it then. So there we go, hope you found that interesting. Um, just a little video of me showing you know, how we're sort of altering things. Um, I don't need any jacks in there, as I said earlier, and um, we've got quite a big carrier going for the fascia, but also this has got plain tiles on, so there'll be lots of battens on there to support that. So there you go, just a little a video of me doing a few alterations. It does happen. Sometimes people change their mind, or sometimes things have got to be altered. So as long as everyone's happy at the end of the day, that's all that counts. Hope you found it interesting. As always, thanks for watching.